Dickin and Neuendijk for the face off. We're underway here in Pelham as the Thunderbolts closing three of their last four, looking to get back on the win track here in Birmingham where they have been successful this year so far. And it's picked up by Lazorko. Burr Williams trying to walk to the net, but held away by Phil Tesserero. Poke to the boards as the crowd getting into it now here in Pelham. Bulls coming back up, it is Evan Schultz. Schultz looking and shooting, that is stopped by Schultz. Can't tap on the rebound, and that one they do score. And it's Matt Fuller, and the Bulls have taken a one nothing lead. Graham Yeo, sending it up to the near boards. Mitten, trying to get out of the zone, but it's kept in by Williams. Clark. In the middle for Lazarko, handed off nicely. Shot right on, saved by Parks off Williams. Another shot, they score! Frank Schumacher has tied it up for Evansville. Off the follow up, the initial shot by Williams was stopped. And Schumacher followed up, and it's a 1-1 game at exactly the 16 minute mark. As both sides change up, the line of Lazarko. Back out for Evansville, and here comes Lazarko. Shot right on, sticked away by Parks. And meanwhile, on the near side, it's taken right back by Birmingham. Coming up now is Nate Minton, or excuse me, Evan Schultz, number six. Uh, Nate Minton wears the number eight uniform. As uh, Schultz takes a little hit there from Lazarka on the near side, and the Evans' zone pops three for Harris in the middle. Drop there for Bruce, he scores! <laughs> Egan Bruce gets the goal, and it's 2 1 Birmingham. Feeds it back to the line for Lubin. His shot to flex toward the net. Loose in the slot. Zorko trying to get to the rebound and doesn't. It's poked away by Jericho. Christensen at the line again. That goes past Williams. Clark now behind the net against Craig Simchuk. As those two do battle. Loose puck. As Lazarko can't tee it up. And they do score. And it's Dylan Clark finally breaking that goal drought. And he has number 99 of his pro career. Dickin again in deep. Goes down against Neuendijk. Lubin with it now. And pass to Lazorko. Coming into the zone with Scorsia. Drop to Scorsia. Tic tac toe to Lubin. Lubin shoots. He scores. Brandon Lubin has given the Thunderbolts a 3 2 lead. Off a great passing play from Scorsia and Lazorko. Up for Sean Reynolds as Birmingham changes. Coming into the Birmingham zone. We'll get a deep. Round the boards to the near side. Simchuk on it, takes a hit. Scorsia with it, moving to the net. John Scorsia gets a shot, save, rebound, score! Chase Neuendijk has doubled up the Bolts lead. It's 4-2. Off of Cameron front, Chase Neuendijk has made a 4-2 Evansville. And breaking forward is Mitten, but he's cut off by Neuendijk, and it's sent back to the Evansville end zone. As Driscoll and Bruce battle behind the gauge, uh, cage where Scholl has it. And then a big hit by Tesserero on Sean Reynolds. Scorch it the other way, however. Tries to get the Nets held on by Parks. And Driscoll goes after his man. Bo Driscoll and Phil Tesserero, who took out Reynolds. And here we go. Both sides lose the helmet. Driscoll and uh, Tesserero go down. Bo Driscoll sticking up for his teammate, Sean Reynolds, and Phil Testerero answers the bell. And Christensen can't hold the line. Tolling gets it out. Race for it. Bathgate and Mitchell in the Evansville zone. Mitchell wins the race. Back to line. It goes to layoff side on Birmingham. As Christensen and Tallin are going to go now. Look at this. Lee Christensen in a fight with Alex Tallin. Both going with the rights. As those two collide, and Christensen gets the takedown on that one. As Alex Tallin has been looking for a fight all night long and got a pretty good one from Lee Christensen. That's the fourth fight of the year for Alex Tallin. Six foot four, 218 pounds. Lee Christensen, six foot one, 200 pounds, gave up a little bit of size, four inches and 18 pounds, but held up pretty well against the bigger Tallin. So two fights and not even three minutes here. And both go for five for fighting. 
Harris on the near side gets taken down by Mitchell. And Clark's going to pick it up. He's going to get on a breakaway. Here's Dylan Clark trying to get to the net. Clark stopped by Parks. Hops in the air, gets his own rebound. He has stopped again. Another try. He scores. Dylan Clark has his 100th professional goal. And that will just about put this one away as Nick DeVoya will grab the puck. 100 pro goals for Dylan Clark. As he came in on a breakaway, congratulations to Dylan Clark, who's been playing pro for several years now in the Central League, the ECHL, and this year with the Evansville Thunderbolts. With four seconds, and that will do it. The Bolts win it, 5-2 the final score. As Dylan Clark picks up two goals and gets his 100th pro. Schumacher, Lubin and Neuendijk pick up tallies as well. Thomas Scholl stopping 29 of 31 shots.